Hello and guess where we are? Here's Pippa from the Worms Eye View channel. This is a part two of a vlog this is. Part one is, I'll leave a link to that in description and link to her vlogs because we're both vlogging. So we'll get two perspectives of the same day. Ooh, anyway, we just had a rather nice tasty restaurant lunch and we're going to the monkey house. <laughs> There's the first one. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> We've perked up now, we've had food. We were like, oh, they look at the fish. Them. Nice fish dinner. Mmm, monkeys. There's one there, yeah, look. Oh, it's just chucked well on the floor. So this is a lion-tailed macaque in this one. It's from the tropical rainforest in southwest India. There's a rather surprising sign here. It's asking us to be kind and ignore the spider monkeys. It says here, one of them, Ellie, sometimes seeks human attention. She was hand-reared at another zoo. If you respond to her and then leave, she gets distressed. So please help Ellie and her monkey group by not interacting with her in any way. Here she is a spider monkey. I wonder if that's Ellie. Pippa and I are trying to film these monkeys, but the lighting is just all wrong. <laughs> They're coming out as silhouettes with a really bright background. I'll show you. What all I'm getting is a very unfortunate image of its rear end. <laughs> we spotted some mice. A couple of them, actually. I don't know if they're supposed to be there or they're just like, mm, free food. Free food, I imagine. Ring-tailed lemur over on this side. Goodness gracious, there's a whole load of them. There's like a pile of ring-tailed lemurs over there up on the windowsill. And look, there's a ring-tailed lemur's ringed tail. We can't do the lemur walkthrough at the moment. Alfred, apparently. Hello, Alfred. Hi, Alfred. Got a mother and baby out here. A bit of feeding. These pictures are rather nice, aren't they, all the way along here? It's one that really reminds me of Quatermass, though. Can you guess which one it is? Dun, dun, dun. This is the gorilla bit. Oh, I thought it was a cafe. It's not. It's dressed up as a cafe, but it's showing their diet that they have in here. That's a really beautiful building by there, isn't it? I've never noticed that before, all the times I've come here. Anyway, oh look, vending machine for ice lollies. Didn't know that they even existed. Oh, it is open. I thought it was shut. In captivity, we don't really know. Um, there's one in San Diego and there's 61. So this is the big daddy gorilla this is. I think they said his name was Jock. He's been fathering many a uh, gorilla baby over the years. He's 39 now, speaking of offspring. Well, apparently they can only have one male adult gorilla in there, otherwise they'll fight. But some of the young ones are males, but they'll have to be moved when they get to a certain age. So all the other adult gorillas in here are ladies. The zoo is closing in September and apparently there's going to be quite a big gap between it closing and moving to the new location because it's merging with another place. I was asking what their new enclosure will be like but they don't know yet. There's another one there, look at their feet, they're like hands. There's a Pippa! We're going out! <laughs> You're giving the lens a crafty wipe, are you on the trousers? Yeah, because I've stuck my hand over it. <laughs> it's made the lens all greasy. I did clobber one of the young volunteers in there and I was just asking her, you know, how's it changed, you know, with regards to getting the animals. I mean, how long ago did they stop getting animals from the wild? She said, oh, I really don't know. Ages ago, you know, we don't go out and get big animals from the wild anymore. Just keep the ones we've got and they breed, you know. We're gonna have a look at some seals and penguins now. She did say that Jock, I think that's what his name was, was not going to continue reproducing forever. Oh, Thank you, thanks a lot. Cheers. Like that's a very refreshing sound on a warm day like this. Says the penguins are looking a bit scruffy at the moment because they're molting their feathers. The enclosure is, well, enclosed with a net and you can see why. It's full of these seabirds and they're all flying around. There's a rhythmic sloshy noise over there. I know what it is. It's the wave machine it is. Got a nest in there. Oh, they're interested in that pipe, aren't they? Oh! Pippa spotted some penguins in these penguin holes here. Hello, Mr. Penguin. Very close quarters. Looks so cosy in this little hole there. Oh, bang this beak on it. It's that wave machine noise is quite soothing, actually. Hello, my star. Oh, <laughs> fluffy flap. <laughs> Having a good old wash. Um, 
There's Pippa and Meg. Okay. I'm very impressed. I couldn't have gone in there. <laughs> I think I'm smaller than I am. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I've got. Oh no! How did you do it? How did you get there? I would get out again. Oh, they move as well. Oh, do they? You need a crane to get me out. I might have to just get in with my legs sticking out. Oh, there we are. That's the trick. Yeah, you had to put your bum in first. <laughs> We've got a volunteer helping us. You could do mine as well if you like. It's already filming. There we are then. Point general diver. Yeah, see, yes, I, yeah, I can see you are both perfectly now. Wave at the camera. Are we supposed to chirp like penguins? Yeah, or, or wave at hear? the camera. Wave at the camera, what both of you. Noise they make? Well done. What? Yeah. What penguins? Yeah, yeah, that, very much like that. Very much like that. She's very good at penguins. Oh, thank you. But be very careful what you're saying. You don't know what you're saying, do you? I don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> um, there you are. I'm going to give it your back. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you could pull that and then you press that one. I would need a crane to get out of there. We're working out. Oh, well, it's out. sideways. Oh, there you are. Turn around. <laughs> there you are. I work with children. I get myself with all sorts of well silly situations. Thank you. Looking over, I can see there's a tunnel. Well, I remember, actually. There's a tunnel that you can walk through under there and see the penguins and things swimming about. Pippa's posting that photo on her Instagram. I'm too rubbish at Instagram. I haven't even taken one. I found out what those seabirds were with the little curly, wispy bit here. They are Inca terns. And where are they from? They're from there, on South America. And they're mixed in with African penguins. Seem to be um, doing all right together though. Found the wave machine, it's by there. We've come to the seal bit now, and in here we have Pablo, Toro, and Juan. And we were just looking down, wondering where they were, and they all came bobbing up to see us. Oh, there he is sticking his nose out of the water and submerging again. We were wondering what was in there. It's like a green wire cage surrounded by red straps. Do you think they put food or something in it and it's a bit of a... Like a puzzle. Yeah, maybe it's intellectually stimulating. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, bye-bye! Look, there's a look back in time photo. I remember that polar bear. I remember a very psychologically distressed one that used to just go back and forth, yeah. back and forth, like two steps forward, two steps back and sort of wave his head around when I was little. So that was the mid eighties. Bears do go a little crazy. I saw one in Lisbon Zoo that was crazy, clearly like yeah. not happy. But anyway, it was what it was and we're all learning all the time, aren't we? And growing and developing. Ah, more wave machine, look. I don't know why, I'm quite fascinated by that. Doesn't look very effective though. I'm not seeing waves coming flying out of it. Pip has been reading a sign and she's just informed me that that thing, the wire ball thingy, is to do with stimulating them intellectually. Oh, do you know that really? <laughs> there's there's that a that buggy funny. going past <laughs> with humans <Yeah>. in. <laughs> <laughs> Aquatic <laughs> humans. <laughs> Look, that one looks, because he's got sunglasses on. Oh, yeah. Some, oh, it, hi! <laughs> They're waving. <laughs> it looks like um, they've got snorkels on or something. Do you know what, though? This takes us back. I remember going to Canada when I was very little, and even when I was 12, going to Canada and seeing a killer whale show. Yeah. I'm glad we've come yeah. on from that. Every so often we're getting like a pongy waft of sort of fish <laughs> and marineness. They have salt water. Pippa was reading. They're trying to replicate the natural environment. It's not like chlorine, you know, like they put dolphins in for dolphin shows or anything like that. Right, let's go in the tunnel. Going into the darkness. Oh, yeah. We've got some little seahorses in here. Cool, look at those sun rays coming through. How silty it is. We don't normally get to see the bottom of the sea, do we? Oh, hello. <laughs> Wave machine is making it lap against the window. He does like to swim on his back quite a lot, doesn't he? He does, yeah. I wonder if he's feeling the warmth of the sun on his belly. Yeah, maybe. We've reached this part, the bit where you get to walk right under them. Oh. Must be an effect of the water. <laughs> Here he comes! Oh, 
Pippa looks all ripply. I've got wrinkly in my old age. <laughs> <laughs> ripply, don't worry. <laughs> I wasn't calling you wrinkly. You're like a straight for your head now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, water. Here comes Pippa. Yeah, seal. Wow. Right over our heads. <laughs> Looks like a washing machine. Look. <laughs> rum, 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 rum. That's my washing machine impression. This must be the dive pool section. Deeper. Oh, hello. <laughs> Amy and Pippa are stopping to look at that big impressive looking building. We think it's a school with a sixth form in it. It says nursery to sixth form. Oh, Clifton College, there we are. Quick loo stop since we're passing. And if you watch Pippa's vlog, you'll see me joining in with the stag tango. Well, it's called last tango. I couldn't resist joining in. We have used the facilities and now we're gonna see if we can see some tree kangaroos from Papua New Guinea. Pippa's gone in ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, this push pull lark, you know, it does get the better of me. Yes, they are kangaroos. Have you seen any? No, I don't even know what a tree kangaroo looks like. Well, perhaps it'd be in a tree. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> More likely in the... Oh, that's a bird in there. Yeah. Hello. So, do you think they look like kangaroos or do you think they're monkeys? Well, there was a sign and it said, yes, they are kangaroos. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's because they don't look like kangaroos. Oh, you are. This is what it looks like. A tree kangaroo, sort of a lemur with the face of a koala. I don't know. We've spotted him. Up there. Oh, oh, typical. They always turn their bum to me when I start filming them. Oh, that's it. Just go behind the light. <laughs> there it is. Look, I'm zooming in above the heads of some people. Oh, let's come back into this one now. <laughs> Thanks, Pippa. That's their outsidey bit. Oh, they got one of those swings like our kids all love. We're leaving. Yes. Not the zoo, just the uh, kangaroo bit. <laughs> we were just talking about outtakes actually. Oh, Ooh, it's okay. mask on time because we're going to see the meerkats. And in this bit, the mask wearing is compulsory unless you're exempt by law. It has got those on too, look. We look like we're gonna rob a bank now, don't we? Stick them up. <laughs> We've just found the meerkat lookout, but it does say we must wear face masks. Here they come, look. It's hey. coming to see you, Pippa. Off he goes. Pippa says it's a meerkat flap. Three little ease there. Oh, all scratching. A little face. Oh my goodness. Very human shaped -y sort of ears. A little twitchy nose as well. Oh yeah, I saw my mask on as well. I forgot about it. There's a bit you can go in and stick your head up. Hey Pippa, we can stick our heads up in this bit. Pop your head up and I'll take a picture. Okay. We should take a picture of the from the inside of the tubes. Oh, that might be awkward. That's a bit low with a rucksack on as well. <laughs> oh blimey i've got my head up in that thing it was a bit of a squeeze with the backpack on it was coming oh, oh my bag is getting in the way yes i had that issue too <laughs> i i've twisted in a very awkward position <laughs> Her spine just to get the <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go like this. Are oh, you getting a nice shot of my backside? Lovely bottom in my lovely bottom. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> there she is. Oh, she's gone. Yep. <laughs> Is she coming back? Yes! Oh, that's so funny. Squats have never been my strong point. <laughs> oh, this is a rather cute statue of a... What's going on? If I get stuck... <laughs> you might need to extract me. You're right in there, Pippa. <laughs> it appears to be. <laughs> There's a very interesting Joey coming out. Um... <laughs> Now for the moment of the truth, can she actually extract herself successfully from this contorted position? <laughs> oh, bottom up. Bottoms! <laughs> yes, I'm astonished. 
Not bad for a 44 year old. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go and find some warthogs and we're already talking about another tea and coffee stop already. Time's flying, it's probably been a while. We're looking for warthogs. I think there used to be otters in here. I wonder if there still are. Otters are not on the map. Are they not? Maybe the otters have gone then. We've got some teeny tiny golden headed lion tamarins in here. I've seen them a few times but they've scampered off the minute I've got the camera out. We've got agile gibbons in this enclosure. It's a gibbon is it? Agile gibbons. Oh, yeah. I thought you were just being descriptive. No, it's actually their name. I think there's one there. I can't actually see my screen because it's so bright. Oh yes, I think I've got him. Hello, Agile Gibbon. We still haven't found the warthogs. We think they might live here. A Vician warty pig. Right enclosure, I think. Just not playing ball today. No. We found a kiosk. <laughs> I'm having a coffee and blackcurrant ice cream. Look at that then. One tiny little blackcurrant ice cream. We both went for the same one, unbeknownst to each other, but we both wanted to try something we'd never had before. Pepper's digging in right now. I'm digging into my ice cream. It's got little seeds in it. Does it? Yeah, blackcurrant seeds. Uh, that reminds me of that f animal we were reading about earlier. <laughs> Is it good? Which one was it? Mm. Yeah, what animal was it? I'm trying to remember. It wasn't the bat, was it? No, no. It was. I'm thinking it was furry. Oh, was no, it a lizard, a reptile? It was Iguana? A rhino lizard. And whatever it eats seed wise, it poops the seeds out and they are more fertile after being digested through the lizard. You can get coffee as well, can't you, that's been through some creature that's very expensive. Oh, coffee. gosh. Yeah, I might give that a miss, to be honest. Yeah, I, don't yeah. I mean, I don't like coffee, but I really don't like coffee that's been through a creature. That was the line of the whole vlog, that was. I don't like a coffee that's gone into a, a creature. creature. Yeah. I discovered in Lisbon several hundred vlogs ago that a hot coffee and a cold ice cream, just alternating, sip of that, taste of that, sip of that. It's just so good, the hot and the cold, it just works so well together. And the contrasting flavours complement each other. And I'm sure that this is going to work too. That was a very nice break. We are, get, oh, I've got a very interesting shadow on my face, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't got much left to do of the zoo. We've got Butterfly House if it's yeah. open and we're wondering if the Bug House was open. I'm trying to remember because we passed something and it was closed. Well, we passed a few things and it was closed. Uh, perhaps we should go and investigate. There's a lovely kids play area here, but I would say it's not suitable for very little children, this particular one, because it really is quite high up. There's a high wire course as well. I think it was about £10 each to do last time I was here. <laughs> we've had a spot of bother finding the bug house, but we've just looked on the map. I think it's, it's just up there somewhere. We're back at the aquarium, but apparently the aquarium used to be where they had a bear pit. There's a photograph here. It dated back from when they actually opened the zoo in 1836. This is the actual pole, look. So they used to climb up it and the poor bears, they, well, they did not enjoy their time in captivity, as we know now. The bear pit was probably the last of its kind in the UK and it ceased to hold bears by the early 1970s. So this is the front of the aquarium, look. We just need to find the bug place now, <laughs> it is here. That would have been a clue. Bug world, it says. I mean, the big thing that we were looking at earlier on in the trip going, oh look, isn't that a wonderful stag beetle? Yeah, we admired the stag beetle, but didn't actually twig that it was the entrance to bug world, yeah. Ooh, are they real ones? They might, yeah, I think so. <laughs> we got some fun sculptures, these big beetly things. Ooh, ta-da! Here it is. I knew it was an upstairsy one. There we go. There's another one of those bugs lurking in the foliage. That's the restaurant down there. We are going in. Pippa's already gone in, in fact. Oh, it's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Right there. Scorpion. Look, there is glass. Don't worry, I wouldn't be putting my finger there otherwise. Well, I think, I think there's glass. Imagine if there wasn't and you accidentally poked it and it went sting. Pippa's filming a tarantula. A very furry tarantula. Thankfully, behind glass, you can stay right there. Yep, he's lurking. I bet you can't see this, but there are actually insects there in full view and they look like leaves. Can you see which oh, ones they are? They look a bit like Monge 2 actually. Oh, there's one on the yeah, move up there. That would help They do you. look like Monge 2, you're right. <laughs> that one's on the move. Can you see how it looks like a Monge 2 with legs and antennae? There's one really visible just here. Can you see that one moving about there? The living Monge 2 species. It'd be a bit embarrassing if it got in your food, wouldn't it, and you didn't notice? You crunched down on it. That's the Monge 2 thing. The Malaysian leaf Katie did. Katie did. There's a book about that, what Katie did. I am glad that Pepper identified this one. Can you see that? It's actually a species thingy. I'm trying to get it from the other angle. Can you see that it's like a backbone and that? Well, maybe it's not a backbone because they 
presumably have exoskeletons, don't they? Are these all them? Are they, I guess they're, I think they're all them. Like, that's a whole row. They're just they all were leaves. Down, aren't they? Yeah, they're so motionless, aren't they? Giant leaf insect, very unimaginatively named. <laughs> we were just saying, you look at first and you can't see one at all. And then once you've seen what they look like, all of a sudden you realise there are loads and loads and loads and loads in there just all keeping really still, but you didn't see them at all. Those ones are a bit easier to spot, aren't they? Because they're on the brown dried up leaves. It's still a bit quite a mass in the pit. That's what those were, Malaysian giant jungle nymphs. <laughs> There's a camera over there. I've just spotted them all on the ceiling. One just suddenly fell off and I looked up. That is very Quatermass. If you have not seen Quatermass in the pit, it's from the 1950s it is. They dig down into an old underground chamber and find a crashed alien spacecraft, which is full of these insecty alien things. That one's rolling around on its back on the floor there. It's like, oh, I can't get up. Oh, it's done it. It's done it. It had a bit of a struggle though. This looks like a load of just woody dead sticks, but it's actually living creatures and they are a range of different sizes and you just think, oh, that's hanging off a stick and you mm. think, oh, actually, no, it's hanging off a stick insect and so on and so forth. There's so many of them and some of them are absolutely yeah, massive. We found a load of beetles having a feeding frenzy on this fruit here and they look like beautiful jewels. They're really striking looking, especially those purpley ones. I didn't remember there being an ocean zone part of Bug World, but there is. We've had a good look in ocean zone and now we're going to have a look in hot desert zone. Oh, there's me. Here's a reflection of Pippa too. <laughs> I think we're about done with the bug house. It was very good though, it was really interesting. There's loads of pictures in this hallway here, really historical ones. I remember seeing giraffes here, but they've obviously, they've been phasing out the big animals you see. Zebras, 1900, they don't have those now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they had children playing with lion cubs. That's kind of scary, and leopard cubs. Oh my goodness. That was in the 1940s. There's Johnny Morris there in 1967. And it's saying here that in the early 1960s, the great apes were frequently taken out of their cages and walked around the zoo. There was the Monkey Temple, built in 1928. The elephants said they had nine in total, and the last one went in 2002. Oh, carpies, yep. I remember seeing them when I was little. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see those. There's like a swarm of monkeys over there. I think they've just been fed. I think they might have been, yeah. Oh, look, they all want what you've got. <laughs> I think we just have the butterfly house left to do. We do. I think. We don't know where it is, but we think it might be this way. We haven't <laughs> been this way, so I'm going with it. Yeah. Well, that's a giant fern there, isn't it? Blinking massive. It's all unfurling. Oh, these ones, yeah. yeah. Like fiddle scrolls. It's looking pretty jungly by here. Oh, there's the, your friend the kangaroo that you got stuck in earlier. <laughs> Slightly concerned about the smell of smoke in the air. I uh, don't know what that's about, but I think this is the butterfly thingy here because um, it looks like a giant polytunnel. Oh, crikey. Oh, we missed it. Oh, uh, damn. Never mind. <laughs> the flamingos sound like pigs. <laughs> is that the flamingos over there? It's the flamingos, oh, yeah. They did sound like pigs. Yeah, handkerchief tree. Um, she's just seen a handkerchief tree, but you have to watch Pippa's vlog yeah. for that one because I didn't film it. It's beautiful. I called it the Morris Dancer Tree, so it looked like the white hankies that the Morris Dancer can see why. Yeah, it didn't have any bells jangling on it though. Or, well, it did have sticks, but they were growing as part of it. I am totally going off on a tangent. We are leaving pretty much, I think. Oh, exit this way. Because it's half past four, and if we go now, it won't be as rush houry as if we go in another half an hour. <laughs> Pippa is leaving. We just said goodbye and she started walking off and I said, oh, we've got to say goodbye to you on the vlog. Do watch Pippa's vlogs of the zoo. I shall link them in the description. Thank you. Yes, definitely. <laughs> no, we shall see you again. Reciprocate on mine. Oh, thank you. And we'll, we'll have another adventure another time. Take care, bye. We've had an absolutely brilliant day. The weather's been perfect as well, which has really helped. I've really enjoyed Pippa's company today. It's been so fun. We've been like two little girls giggling the whole time. <laughs> Uh, everything anyway thank you so much for watching this video could you please give it a like if you liked it really helps the channel to grow and i really appreciate the support and if you're new here and would like to follow more of my adventures do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one Bye. -bye.